What's going on, everybody? Today I'm bringing a video on the deranged archaeologist. This is going to be a quick guide for how to kill him. This is really beneficial for early level Iron Men, and then also if you're going for the combat achievements. The first thing is your inventory setup. You're going to want to bring a axe and a rake if this is your first time going or you have not unlocked the mushroom tree in the swamp. You'll also want to bring a dig site pendant if you have it, or a way to get to Fossil Island. Some prayer potions and some food. You're not going to need a whole lot of food, but you will make a mistake from time to time and take a little bit of damage from it. So just make sure to bring some with you. Also, make sure that you bring a teleport out. So either a ring of dueling or a teleport tab or whatever you have, but a teleport out. You will, if you've been in the room over 10 minutes, you will de from him, so you could home teleport, but good to bring one just in case. As far as the gear setup goes, we want to prioritize prayer over magic damage. So I'm doing Monk's Robes, Ring of the Gods, a Warp Spectre, if you have an Ibn Staff, that would also be just fine. But again, we want to prioritize prayer, Serata's Blessing as well, and then if you have major boots, use those. If not, you can use Mystic or something else. You could bring the Nizanot Helm or you could bring the Proselyte Helm, whatever suits you better if you don't have from Nick Isles done yet. You can follow this first path if you've never been there before or have not unlocked the Mushroom Tree. So this is the longer way to go. You need an axe and a rake. When you have an NPC pop up and attack you, just pray mage as you continue to run. You will take a slight amount of damage while you are running there. The second way of getting there, if you have already unlocked the mushroom tree that you will find along the path if you go the first way, is to teleport to the sticky swamp and that will take you close and all you'll need is to run south you will still need an axe in your inventory, but will not need the rake. I make a lot of three minute Slayer guides and five minute bossing guides just as a quick guide to show quick mechanics. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see all the future ones to come. I'll be doing a lot of this lower mid game content as well right now while I am getting my Iron Man into the late game. Also, make sure to like the video, that also helps. Now, I recommend marking the tiles that I have marked here. The first kill may be a little bit weird because he's going to roam around the room. So the first one, you just have to be careful. What we're looking for is for him to yell out, learn to read, and then he will throw an AOE effect. So on the first kill, you'll just run in between about that distance, just run away when he does that. And then after you've killed him the first time, you'll be able to reset and use those tiles each time. You will want to pray range while you're in the room. Those are the majority of his attacks. If you avoid his AOE well enough, you should take literally no damage. But again, sometimes the shockwave effect of his special attack can still hit you. So be careful, be slightly vigilant, and always look for him to yell, learn to read, and then you know that you need to move. This is a pretty easy and chill boss, a good way for Iron Man to get rune limbs. Also, he does drop a black dehyde body as well, which was nice because I lost mine, so that's why I ended up back here. And also, once you've killed him 25 times, you will have completed the combat achievements as well. I hope you guys found this video to be useful, and I'll see you in the next one.